What's up guys? Welcome back again. We are out here doing some more updates to this bad boy and I am beyond stoked for this one. Um, one of the weak points of the front suspension is not only just the suspension itself because I mean it's factory. I've got that coming soon. Um, but let's talk about tie rods. Tie rods on these things right here these right here are so thin so cheap and if you're bashing if you're bashing through rocks you know and you're coming at an angle hard or whatever it is that's probably gonna be one of the first thing that's gonna bend or break and we've got the solution for that so stay tuned guys and I'll show you just what I got right down there on the floor and uh, we're gonna install it So what we're going to do today is we actually let's back up. I got in contact with a local company here. Um, they're not too far from me, about 15, 50 miles away, really local company. They make a lot of stuff mainly for uh, Duramax diesels and things like that. And I was looking on their site because not only did I used to have a van and I say used to because it's gone we sold the van and um, I am pretty sad about it honestly uh, we sold the van and I uh, I don't know uh, I'm looking to do something different uh, unfortunately like I've I told you in the past uh, I lost my job so I no longer have that there so we had to get rid of some expenses and only because we want to focus on this guy right here um, so the van she gone and uh, we got this thing it's a 2015 2500 HD and um, I am stoked on it I mean it's I mean you know it is what it is I miss having the van but definitely don't miss having a car payment so that's the plus anyways besides that we are gonna here to talk about these right here and this is a tie rod from kryptonite this is your stock tie rod right here ball joint heim heim and just look how thin this is right there. I mean, breaking point totally right there versus heim joint. Yeah. Just the size difference. This is like that cheap pot metal stuff. That'll that'll snap. This full billet aluminum, solid piece of aluminum, not gonna break. So, with that being said, we are going to uninstall this one right here and put in this bad boy all right as you can see first thing we're gonna do is uh take off this tire i've already broken loose so it should be pretty easy Like I said, I already broke them loose, so what we're gonna do is focus on this thing right here. All right, so I've got um, 18 millimeter socket here, and we're gonna go and pull off this mounting point right here. Just gonna give it a couple zaps. There's that. And um, what you need is basically pull this bad boy here. Don't hit the ball joint hit the side right here. If you just give it a couple of wax, should pop right up. There it is. 
usually doesn't take quite that much but sometimes these things can be finicky and they don't want to come out right away so there's that so you have um, a clip here which you don't really need to take that off but back here let me see if I can get you in there Sorry about that. back here you have the boot and there is a you can see right there there's a zip tie back there you're gonna go ahead and snip that off Pull that guy off. Pull the boot back. And when you pull the boot back, you can see the steering shaft right down there. So what we're gonna have to do is unscrew it from here. So what you gotta do, you gotta use like a, a crescent wrench or a pipe wrench, whatever you have to kind of get in there and loosen it. It's kind of a pain in the butt, so bear with me. And I'll get this thing loosened up. All right. You can't really see. It's kind of round on the front part. And then there's actual, like, spot you can put your wrench on the back side of the butt. Damn it. This crescent wrench isn't big enough. And it is, I don't even know. It's the 12-inch one. I don't know if you can see that. But the 12-inch one, not big enough. Man. That's bigger than an inch and a half. I thought this was for sure going to be the right size. So, well, guess it's a trusty pipe wrench time. I have this small little pipe wrench. I guess it's going to have to do. I'm not really excited about using it, but then again, I'm not reusing this. So, whatever. All right, so now I got this pipe wrench under there. Just kind of, it kind of is a. It's really hard to kind of turn. It's not exactly the easiest of spaces to work with. So, especially with a big old pipe wrench, or in this case, a little pipe wrench. The pipe wrench is still awkward. So. With this, with this pipe wrench, it really is a pain in the butt to, to do things. So, let's see. Oh. God, what a bitch. So now that we got it somewhat loose, we're just going to turn it, bam, and there we go. Just like that. Mm. All right, sorry, I had to turn you. But this boot is coming off. Like I said, see how it's like threaded right there? Pretty easy to get to. I mean, minus the fact that it has a, I had to use a pipe wrench, which totally sucks and not exactly what I want to be using for this, but apparently, this is like over an inch big, so we are using what we can. Well guys, well, now that we got this thing off here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this boot off because we're gonna reuse this boot. Um, there's that. And um, wait, I think I just hear a FedEx truck. Let's see what we got. Oh, snap. See that right there? That should be mine. And guess what that is? Guess what's not in here right now? That's right, folks. Some seats just got here. So hang on one second while I deal with this guy. And uh, we'll see what we got. All right, guys. FedEx just dropped this off. We are gonna open it right here on this video to see what we got. Oh no, I don't have my knife. Well, it's uh, uh you guys gotta rip it open, right? 
there should be two boxes um, because well we got two things coming but we'll see what happens Fresh unboxing, and you guys are here to see it. Oh, they're both in this one box. Bam! Ooh. Maybe I should put you guys right up here. Ah, you guys are gonna hang out in the cage while I do this. Ah. Bam, look at this guy right here. Shout out to Simpson for sending me these seats. I am pretty, pretty damn excited. You know what? I'm not even going to show you guys. You guys see what I got? You guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next video while I install these things and show you just what they look like. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you guys can be informed when I upload it, so you can see what they look like, see how I install it, see how they feel. Alright guys, well, um, sorry for the interruption, I was pretty excited about that. Got the seats undone, a little sneak peek of what it looks like, but that's all you're going to see. Um, I am absolutely super stoked about these things, but let's get back to what we're here for, and that's the tie rods. All right, guys. All right, so what we got? We got the tie rod off. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull this old boot off because we're gonna reuse it. Um, we're gonna reuse this boot, but it's not going to fit on the new heim joint so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it right about here and then be able to slip it on over the new u joint but let's get it taken care of all right so what we're going to do is we're going to reuse this stock boot right here and there's a clamp that's on here right there but i'm not going to reuse that because it's not going to fit over the heim joint anyway so we're gonna do is we're gonna take our razor blade. Ah, dang it, man! I really wish I had my knife. I don't know what I did with it last night. I swear I'd lose my damn head if it wasn't attached to my shoulders. <laughs> you get the idea. So now that that's cut, pull it off the old one. And as you can see, it's still there. Not the cleanest cut in the world, but it works. Um. I'll clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna shove it back. I'm gonna put it back on there and then we'll install the new one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take off this, ah, that guy just fell off. Take off this uh, little U-joint right here. And what you do is you have you have an Allen, key, Allen bolt that goes in here and that this is what actually goes into where the stock mounting point is um, the one that came on the razor has this versus this billet um, u-joint I guess you can call it then you got this big guy right here that drops in there and then that'll go straight into the steering rack um, as everything we do you have to put Loctite on it just so it doesn't come off or anything like that and I personally don't have um, a 14 millimeter Allen key. I just don't. I have a 10 millimeter. I have like a 12 millimeter on a socket, just not a 14 uh, for whatever reason. I don't have an Allen key. I don't have an Allen key socket. I, don't, I just don't have anything. Um, so I went to, I went on a scavenger hunt yesterday. Uh, to find this thing. I finally found one at AutoZone, um, which basically looked like this. Uh, it was a size 14, so it was the right size and everything. Um, 
I was excited I finally found it. When I brought it home, let's try to get this thing back in there. When I brought it home, the half inch one went right about here and it stopped. Since so it's a half inch, this is a 3 8 version, so it's a little bit skinnier. Um, went right about there and it stopped. So I was about an inch short from actually touching that Allen key. So, I mean, I went to Home Depot, I went to Ace Hardware, I went to Lowe's, I went to O'Reilly, Napa, um, everywhere looking for this place. I, I spent like freaking three hours yesterday just going around different stores because I wanted to find like a long Allen key on a socket. So I was kind of frustrated yesterday and didn't work out. So then I came home and was trying different things. And you know what? I was like, hey, let me see if I can get a half inch bolt and try the head of the bolt and see if it'll fit. Last resort, right? I was like, cool. I got the half inch bolt and it fit perfectly right in there. You're going to say, oh, what's, what is it that I attached to? Yep. I decided to, I don't even know if you guys can even see that, but let's see if I can get it to focus. I welded this guy right here. I had an old crappy socket, 3.8 socket. I welded this half inch bolt or maybe even quarter bolt. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I welded this thing to this socket and made it work. Since I knew that a 3 8 would fit between this U-joint right here and not a half inch, I went with the 3 8 socket. Boom. So now that I could drop my bolt down in there, got my little thing I welded up, drop that down in there. Perfect. Is it ideal? No, it's not ideal. But guess what? It works. <laughs> Things like this, you have to improvise and you just got to go with it. I mean, luckily enough, I have a welder and so I can just weld something up like this really fast and make it work. All right, guys. So now that we've got this handy dandy little U-joint here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on there. We are going to put this thing right back in there. I can get this bolt in there. So the A-arm makes it kind of hard to get into this spot, but once you get in there, you're fine. Come on. I don't want to tighten all the way. I want to leave it a little bit loose just for when just for when I'm putting in the um, heim joint. I'm not fighting with it, so it's a little bit loose right now. And with that being said, we're going to turn the wheel back again this way. get this boot that we, we got and cut, put that on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to slip it over that U joint just enough. Oh, don't go too far though. <laughs> if you want you want to keep the dust out of there. So slip it on enough right there. We're going to put a zip tie or bam right here and then zip tie it to the actual steering rack right back there all right so now we got gotta pull this boot up all the way to the front put a zip tie on it just to kind of keep it tight we don't want any dust going in there there we go now this thing is still loose like I said um, just because when we when we um, put the heim in there I don't want to fight with it the whole time so That'll stay tight until we are all said and done, and that's it. 
All right, so now that we've got that boot on there, up there, we're gonna go ahead and s install this guy right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this side right here. And um, I will take off this bolt here. So what we're gonna do is grab misalignment spacer there. Put that down in there, grab your nut, put it down below. Actually, I think there's a washer that goes in there. Let's put this washer in there. Washer there, then we'll put this nut there. Sure, if this is the right wrench, it's not the right wrench. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab crescent wrench here. Grab that socket that we have under there. Give it a little tighten there and Since that's pretty good there, we'll give that tight in there. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, now that that's there, we see the angle of this U-joint, we're going to pull this this way. Remove that down. Get our trusty homemade tool. Let's see if I can go under. Oh, that's good. The homemade tool. All right, so now that we've got this thing back tightened again, what we're going to do is grab that bolt, stick that in there, get that thing to line up right. It's off just a hair. Go. Our trusty Loctite. A couple drops. Like, ah, one drop, that's all I need. It's definitely a hard space to work work in. So there we go. There's that right there. There you go. That's it. All right, guys. Well, that's about as simple as it is. Pretty freaking easy. Now all we have to do is basically run through it, take some measurements, um, see where we're at as far as alignment goes, make sure it's nice and straight, good to go. One of the things that I like to do is, since I don't have an alignment machine, uh, you're gonna make sure that your wheel's straight, there's a little line here, make sure that's straight on there. And as you can see, this wheel, it's a little turned out this way, not a whole lot. Make sure this is nice and straight up here. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our heim joint here, or our tie rod, and you can literally see it just kind of pushing out. That looks pretty straight. Much better. Okay, so that's fairly straight. If you look at this side, you can see the rotor, everything's kind of turned a little bit that way. So, let's so go loosen these jam nuts a little bit. I'm just trying to make it so that way you can see the Crips Knight, so give a huge shout out to them. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's not perfect by any means. Um, I will take a tape measure to it. And what you do is you take a tape measure and you measure the back from the back to, uh, actually, yeah, let's see if I can get it. With the wheel on, you should do is take a tape measure, measure the back of the wheels and take that measurement. Then you go to the front of the wheel and 
take a measurement from there. And that right there will determine, okay, well, it's it's towed, uh, towed in or towed out X amount of inches. And then you just kind of basically measure it. So it's, let's say, this car is 64 inches wide. So make sure it's 64 inches in the front, 64 inches in the rear. Boom, your steering wheel is straight. Make sure that that steering wheel is straight there. Play with the front. And that's it. So we'll take care of that right now. We'll do that. That's stuff that you don't really care about, but just make sure that you do align your car to your best if you can, as your ability, I guess you could say. Take a measure for the back, measure for the front. When the car is sitting down all the way on the floor, after you drop it down, after you drove it back and forth, the suspension settled, go and take that measurement. Then you can straighten out that wheel say that straight out that alignment but as always guys i really appreciate you guys watching this video i will leave a link in the description below for these tie rods um just overall impression of them they're rad um they're solid i really like them a lot so far so good in about a week week and a half we're leaving for king of the hammers i'm gonna put this car to the test we're gonna hammer down on some stuff out there. So many new upgrades to this thing. Cage, suspension, you know, this car has transformed so much. So if you guys are out at King of the Hammers, please be sure to give me, uh, don't give me a shout out, but just say what's up. You see this car, we're gonna have, there's actually one more thing that's coming for this car. I had a company that uh, messaged me, asked me if they could put a set of doors on this car and tell you what I think about them. So we got a new set of doors coming in next week before hammers, but it should look exactly the same as this. So if you see this car, it says stoked to shred on the side, be sure to say what's up. Come say hi. I would love to have a beer with you guys. We'll have a good time. We'll go for a rip if you guys have a Razor or Can-Am, whatever it is. I'm not crazy about that but uh be sure to say what's up we're out there we'll be at uh pit 212 on um we're, we're at tent 212 on um damn i forgot whatever street that is <laughs> i forgot uh buggy whips way 212 buggy whips way we'll be there king of the hammers 2021 come check us out we'll be there you see a sequoia the sequoia beast <laughs> i will be in that tent wrenching on that car if we're not out pre-running or doing some testing be sure to say what's up and as always guys be sure to like share subscribe uh give me a thumbs up it really does help me um out with the algorithm and all that stuff um subscribe to my channel it really helps so as always guys stay safe stay healthy and go out there and shred have some fun all right guys i'm out of here Woo!